Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Crafty Concepts with Erin. I'm Erin and I'm here today with the Deck the Palms paper pack from Close to My Heart. This is a current special going on and I'm going to use this to create several spreads in my traveler's notebook. I am getting ready for a vacation to Maui that I earned through Close to My Heart and I'm so excited and I thought this is going to be absolutely perfect for a traveler's notebook to take along and document the details. So this special is really cool. It is going on through December 31st and it is kind of a dual purpose. So there is a tropical theme or you can do like a tropical Christmas. So I am, I'll give you a closer look at that in just a second. There are a couple pattern papers. You get two of each pattern. So there's two patterns here and I'll show you the tropical first. So we have these gorgeous flowers and tropical themed leaves and on the other side we have Christmas gift boxes with a tropical flair and then this one we have flamingos and pineapples palm trees all sorts of fun little icons flip it over and those same icons take on a Christmas vibe there's Christmas lights on the tree Santa hats and presents on the flamingos and gift boxes all throughout here so super fun so these particular pattern papers are really the only ones that have the you know either Christmas or tropical themed and the rest of them are very neutral meaning they can go along with whichever theme you are wanting to document and isn't that gorgeous the lagoon going up to the green I just think that's so pretty these are all double-sided I already have them flipped over so you can get a good look at all the pattern papers available in this collection and how about those leaves aren't those pretty I really like that layout there or that pattern paper there so I'll bring back in the sticker sheet this is 12 by 12 and there are title options on here and different icons that go along with the tropical theme if I tilt this in the light can you see that UV coating such a cool finish and it really adds so much so that is the deck the palms tropical now if you want to go with the deck the palms Christmas there is a 12 by 6 sticker sheet and also has that same UV coating but they've really played up the Christmas aspect for the paper pack. So if you live in a tropical environment or you like to spend your Christmas, you know, in a vacation getaway where it's tropical, this is perfect for you. I'll quickly show you there are just a few more bits and pieces. We have pink and white acrylic pieces for tropical and then there's red and white acrylic pieces that are more Christmas themed shapes if you want to play up the Christmas. Along with those there are two different stamp sets. We have Deck the Palms Tropical, we have the getaway title and then fun icons. Everything shaded in green, that kind of bluish green color has a coordinating thin cut and then Deck the Palms Christmas. And really this is pretty neutral. Aside from the flamingo, these are classic Christmas uh, sentiments and images you can use for any Christmas holiday regardless of where you spend it. And then last but not least, this is so cool. We have a set of die cut frames, perfect for A2 card size, but I am going to show you how to incorporate these onto your scrapbook projects. And they're meant to layer. So you would cut them in two different contrasting colors and layer them you know, one over the top of the other. And it gives a really neat look. I don't want to forget the coordinating cardstock either. Again, just like the sticker sheet, do you see that UV coating on the cardstock? It is awesome. They did this in a special uh, a while back and it was super popular, but you can see the little flamingos and then polka dots and then these two here. And again, you get two of each and there are, you have the leaves. Do you see the leaves on there? I forget what these are called, but oh, so pretty. And then there is the mint version as well with the leaves, a lint on there, and then yellow with the pineapples, and then we have a darker shade with the uh, flamingos on there. I think that is raspberry, I believe. So tons of coordinating cardstock. This kit is loaded with goodness. I'm going to get this cleared up and we'll get started on today's project, but you can find all the information listed in the description box below with links to uh, see all the details for this special.
So I have this traveler's notebook. It's actually an Echo Park and little insert. I had started using it for something else and abandoned mission. So I'm going to have to cover up those lines there, which isn't a big deal, but I already started one layout. So I took that fun UV coated cardstock and just, uh, you know, made a background. I like to leave a little bit showing around the edge and it's kind of funny because that pink stamping I had on the previous spread actually coordinates perfectly. So I'm like, hey, I'm going to roll with it. But I took the paradise sticker from the sticker sheet and the flower and fussy cut these flowers from the pattern paper. I just didn't glue that down so I can tuck my photo under and then add some journaling later. But we're going to go ahead and create another spread today. So we'll flip open to the next page there. So all, I shouldn't say all, many traveler's notebooks have slightly different dimensions. So this one is about four and a half by seven and seven eighths it looks like. So I have trimmed some papers down. This is the mint with the UV coating leaves on the back and I'm gonna place that over here. And then this one we have a two and a half inch wide strip that I will place on this side here. So this is one of the coordinating zip strips and I thought that would be fun to run down the side there. I'll go ahead and trim that off flush, maybe if I can get that under there. And then close to my heart, when you get several of their kits, you get little place card holders. So I have, I save all these because usually I scrapbook with my photos. It's very rare. I don't have my pictures when I'm working on a project, but since this is for a trip that hasn't happened yet, I definitely don't have my pictures. So I am going to line those up like that, I think. And I will trim my photos so they're slightly smaller, but I think I'm going to ink the edges of these first. I thought raspberry ink would be fun, and I'll just quickly go around the edge of these with my little uh, foam blending tool here. And that is almost like, you know, adding a photo mat, but without adding the bulk, because these little traveler's notebooks can get kind of thick pretty quick. So something that you want to be aware of. And when I scrapbook, I like a lot of dimension. So I have to remind myself, you know, to kind of tone that down a bit and be mindful of it when I'm creating a traveler's notebook spread. So we've got one more and I don't know what printer I'm going to get. If any of you guys have any of those little travel portable Bluetooth printers that you could just print from your phone that you love, I would love to hear about it. I have an iPhone, so it needs to be compatible with that, but I would love to hear if you guys have any recommendations. Let me move this out of the way. So on this side, I've created a little pocket out of the stripe pattern paper, and we have a tag that's going to slide in the pocket here. So this is from the Buildable Tags Thin Cut Set, and this piece creates the pocket, and it die cuts it, and then puts the score lines in as well. And then you have some different tag options, and then hole reinforcers. This is definitely a workhorse. In my craft room, I use it all the time. So that is how I cut these two little items here. Now it has the score line, so fold those in. And a little tip for you, when you're adhering it together, you want this bottom piece on the outside. If you were to put it like this, then when you slide your tag in, it's going to catch on that layer and it won't seat down in there like it should. So just remember to fold those in first and adhere this bottom piece to the outside flaps so that your tag can slide in all the way down like it's intended. Isn't that cute? I love how you can create these little pockets and um, you can actually put a couple tags in here as well. So I'm gonna use this for my journaling spot and that way during the trip, I can add my journaling to the card. So we'll go ahead and get this adhered together. I'm gonna use a little bit of tape now so that it sticks now, but then we'll put some liquid glue on it as well to make sure it holds permanently. That way we don't have to quite wait as long for it to dry. So get a little liquid glue on there. Fold up our little bottom layer. 
and you want to hang on to that just a second. So be careful when you're putting the glue on. You don't want so much that it's going to squish out and interfere with the inside of your pocket there. So I think we're going to put that just like that right in the center there. I do want to add some embellishing to the front side of this pocket. So I'm going to slide my tag in really quick and then grab the little hole reinforcer. I've cut this out in Lagoon cardstock. I'm going to use some liquid glue to get that uh, tack down to the top of my tag just to finish that off nicely. I love that they include these little tag toppers. The liquid glue lets you slide that into place so it's lined up just right. And I'm gonna grab my sticker sheet and I think this leaf here, I'm gonna kinda angle that off the lower corner and then this cute little uh, dovetail uh, sentiment that says so loving this, I think that's gonna look great right across the bottom. Just a little finishing touch. I'll run a white ribbon through the top and adhere that with a glue dot. So that completes this traveler's notebook spread. We have a spot for three photos and then lots of journaling on both the front and back side of that tag. I think I'm going to add some journaling lines to that uh, later on. So let's go ahead and do another layout. It's really kind of interesting creating layouts that, you know, I really have no idea exactly what I'm going to be doing when I'm there. So it's kind of fun just creating to create. You're just putting elements together that look nice and, you know, no rhyme or reason. So hopefully this works out. I've actually never done it this way before, so we'll see. I'm dovetailing the bottom of this Lagoon uh, cardstock here with the little polka dots. And I want to use this flamingo. I just think this is a big statement piece and it's going to be its own layout there. I actually want to move it to the left hand side because the flamingo's looking in and then I've cut a couple strips of this pink and white it's ballerina and white pattern paper so I'll layer that underneath here and kind of mirror that on the other side and I'm just going to create kind of a little photo spot for a three by four picture on the right hand side. I want to add some stickers, but first I thought I'd better do my journaling. So I have this June months of the year stamp. I absolutely love the months of the year theme stamps. They are so useful and I'm constantly reaching for them. So I have this circle here. I'm using raspberry ink and I've grabbed the sentiment that says good vibes only. So I'm going to practice a couple times on some printer paper and it looks like it's stamping pretty good. So I am ready to stamp that to my my actual circle there so we'll get that good and inky and it fits just right in the center here give it a second to soak in and then this is going to be my title and I'm going to layer that right over the top of the flamingo in this open space here for my journaling, I'm going to create a hidden pocket behind my 3x4 photo. Whenever you do this technique, you really want to use a strong double-sided adhesive like this red line tape. And we do carry this in close to my heart in the catalog, the annual catalog. So I'm just running a seam of this around both sides and the bottom. We obviously don't want to do the top because our tag needs to slide in and out. So I'm running this just on the outside edge of the tag. You don't want it too tight because you do want a little room for that tag to go in and out easily. So this side I'll butt all the way up to the edge there so it's not touching the tag. This way we can slide that tag in and out. This adhesive is strong enough that it's going to hold up to the motion. So I like to use my paper piercer to get this started and then peel off all of those little edges there. And once this is stuck down, it is not going anywhere. Like I said, it is super strong tape. I think double-sided score tape is pretty strong too. Um, I actually haven't used it, so I don't know how it compares with this red line tape. But now that I've got all of those off, I can go ahead and get that lined up on my layout here. I'll go ahead and grab my tag, make sure that's going to slide in and out. You can see I inked up the edges and that's going to work perfectly so I could press it down really well make sure it's nice and snug and there the journaling is done so now I'm going to anchor this photo with some stickers from the sticker sheet and create kind of a little cluster I'll overlap these leaves just a little bit here 
and I think I'm gonna have one going out that way and then this way and we'll join them all together with a flower there that's going to be perfect now again since this is overlapping my photo mat i need to use a little of my anti-static powder tool to remove the adhesive because i want that to not be tacked down so i could slide my photo behind the flower once i'm sure of the placement on everything i want to make sure it is really stuck down to the paper so i have a pewter colored close to my heart journaling pen and i'm going to add some lines with my t-square ruler to this tag so that it's ready for me to journal on i'm just going to run them edge to edge there and i think that looks good it's kind of fun using the pewter because it's a softer color than the black we'll slide that back in there and i do want to finish my tag off i have a little piece of raspberry paper this time rather than ribbon and i'll glue that down i've cut the ends so it looks like ribbon and it's just a little pop of color there and it'll hang out the top of the book and i think that looks cute so our second layout is done and i will be definitely sharing more layouts that i create for this traveler's notebook coming up soon so stay tuned for those if you're not already a subscriber i would love to have you join the crafty concepts with aaron community so tap that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you will be notified every time i post a new video here are a few more that i think you might enjoy and i'll catch you guys next time bye